Hi everyone, my name is Aditya Varsidha Legal and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to make an obstacle avoiding robot with the Roinco Arduino kit. So this is the part 5 of this sequence video. In the first part I made the basic assembly which was this. In the second part I made a line following robot which follows a line. In the third part I made a DDMF robot which is a robot which can be controlled with your smartphone and in the fourth part I made a PC control robot so you all these videos are in the description of this video you can go and check them out if you like to so the basic assembly is necessary for this video also so if you're watching this video please go check that video also so you know how to assemble all the parts then so let's start with this video if you're new to my channel please subscribe because I upload tech videos product reviews and art videos. So let's start with the construction of the obstacle avoiding robot. So the things required to make this obstacle avoiding robot are a servo motor. So these are some accessories of the servo motor. And this is the servo. Just going to unwind the wire and show you. And then we have the ultrasonic sensor. So this is the ultrasonic sensor. And we have some screw nut set. So let's begin with the help of the servo motor. So we are going to take our servo motor. We'll take the wire inside through this part. We'll place it like this way. And this wire We'll take it out through the other hole over here so that it comes out. So this is the servo screw nut set. I'm going to take it outside. You can see this screw nut set. And we'll turn this upside down. And over here, you can see a hole, there are two holes, through the hole we'll insert this screw. So what I did was, with the help of a screwdriver, over here you can see there are two screws, I just inserted a screw and there are two nuts over here and I tightened these nuts so that's what I did so now what I'm going to do is you can see these screws over here so for this project only this accessory and two screws are required so what will we do this is the base module for the ultrasonic sensor We'll take this outside. So now what we'll do? We'll align this like this over here. So now what I did is I used the accessory given with the servo motor, and there were two screws, two big screws which came along with it, and I tightened them with the base module for the ultrasonic sensor. I'm going to take this base module uh, for the ultrasonic sensor. I'll keep it on top of the servo motor like this and take the screw which had to be inserted and put it inside and with the help of a screwdriver tighten it. I think it has been too tightened so I'm just going to loose it a little bit so now it's spinning properly so it's tight enough now now what you have to do is take the ultrasonic sensor which is this HCSR4 and keep place it on top you can see there are four pins over here 
which will go into four holes over here. So align it and push it inside. So that's how you fix it. Now it's done. So now we have to connect the wires and upload the code. So now we have to do the wiring. I'll give you all the wiring connection clearly, but then also I'd like to show you how to do it. So I'm just going to turn this like this. Over here you can see ground, which is certain. So I insert this as I insert a black one to ground. Then over here you can see a ground. So ground to ground, first connection. Then you have to connect another wire from this. UCC which is written to this 5 watt positive one so now we will take another wire and connect it from here which is given as echo to the terminal over here just A Two zero five. So I'll connect it over there and take another wire and connect it to the another terminal over here. The last one, which is the trick, certain as trick over here. So I'll be connecting this orange one to the second terminal near to the first terminal over here. So we have now did the connections for the ultrasonic sensor. Now we have to do the wiring left for the the servo motor. So you can see there are three pins over here, and there's one over here which is written as servo. So we'll insert it into there. So the servo pins are also now inserted. Now only thing is left we have to. So now I'm going to connect the Arduino to my laptop and upload. And as you can see, after I uploaded the power over motion code, both the wheels are moving forward. So it's all. So now I have uploaded the forward robot motion code, and you can see that one tire is moving forwards, but the other is not. So I'll just, if you have faced this kind of little problem, just give this tire a little. Just give this wheel a little turn, then it will start spinning. So now the forward robot motion code is uploaded. Now what I'm going to do is up uh, upload the obstacle avoiding robot code. So let's jump. So one more thing I wanted to mention is that if these wheels are turning in the opposite direction, that means if one wheel is moving forward and the other wheel is moving backwards and you have to interchange the wires in the M3 terminal of that motor so that's what you have to do this is the terminal where I connected the motor so if this motor is connect, uh, is turning backwards to make it forward these are the two positive and negative wires of the motor just interchange the wire so so what you have to do now is I'm just going to disconnect the Arduino as we have downloaded the ultrasonic.h library what we can do is we can go to downloads so and this is the ultrasonic.h library and you can just copy the zip file go to arduino arduino libraries and you can just place the ultrasonic.zip file in there then what you have to do is we have to go back to the code, obstacle avoiding code. You have to go to sketch, include library. Then at the top you can see add.zip library. Then you can go to the place where you have added it. So documents, Arduino, libraries. And you can click on the ultrasonic.h library. I have already added it to my library so I am not clicking on it. So after adding the library you can go to include library. 
and you can just scroll down and you can see contributor library centers on it. So now I'm just going to verify the code that it's correct. Now it doesn't show the error, it is showed that ranging is not ultrasonic pretense. This ranging is not found. Ultrasonic dot ranging, this is not a valid code it was shown before. Now it's not showing it. So now I'm kind of going to connect my Arduino to laptop and upload the code. I'm going to upload the code now. Click on the upload button. It's compiling sketch and then it's upload. And now you can see the ultrasonic sensor moving upwards. So one more thing that I forgot to mention in this video is that this should be perpendicular in, this, in such a way that this ultrasonic sensor which is above can rotate to maximum left direction like this and maximum right direction the opposite way like this so it should properly turn without any issue so now what I'm going to do as the code and everything is uploaded I'm going to put the batteries in and see how this obstacle avoiding robot works